This is Manio, and this is Indie Game Spotlight Episode 8. And this is me playing Project Zomboid, which is an independent game developed by the development team Indie Stone. Uh, and you can buy the game for free. Not for free. Uh, you can buy the game for $8 on Desura. Or you can uh, get the tech demo and just play what I'm playing. Because I'm playing the tech demo. I don't have the full price game yet, but I'm really curious. Um, so pretty much, uh, you play as this man right here. And... You can thrust into the game like with your wife who has a broken leg, and you're supposed to like find some bandages and something to fix her, which I have trouble doing. Um, I also have trouble getting the controls down with the, you know the WASD and sprinting while holding shift. It's a little, um, little confusing for me to move around, but uh, yeah. Now the whole point of the game is to see how long you can survive and in the zombie apocalypse. Um, and you gotta be smart. You can't be stupid and run around killing zombies. You have to, you have to, you know, be smart and think. Um, and that's what I like about this game. You actually have to, you know, think before you do something. Like, you can't, well, maybe I should, you know, hide in this building and barricade, but if the building doesn't have any food, you're pretty much screwed, because you're gonna have to, like, okay, now I have to tear down all these barricades to get out, and I have no food, and there's no food in here. So... A thing that I would recommend doing if you want to play the game is always get like get your food first, like do a lot of food scavenging, and then worry about you know killing zombies and finding somewhere to hide. Because as you can see right now, I'm already hungry and I'm having a hard time, you know, getting the food I need, and also a hard time, you know, trying to save my wife. But no, the game is actually really fun, and it's not easy from what I've seen. As you can see, I found. Uh, it's a bed sheet and a pillow, and I don't know what happens. I really don't know what happens here. As you can see, she's going to die. Um, but I think I may have accidentally, you know, choked her with the pillow. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm worried that I may have uh, suffocated her with a pillow, because then this music plays. And I think the music insinuates that she's passed away. So I think I murdered my wife with a pillow instead of trying to fix her, which kind of bugs me. Or she is supposed to die. But I don't know. I think I killed her with a pillow. So now the screen goes to black because I'm sleeping. And sleep is actually really interesting and a really good thing to do for the game because it reinvigorates you and it makes, you know, you know, um, probably easier to run around and do stuff and probably heals you. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, the, the whole goal, right, main thing to do first is probably get food and whatnot to be able to heal yourself and whatnot the only if I can, and remember this is a beta that i'm playing or tech demo technically um so there's not really that i'm seeing uh this is also my like first time ever like really getting into the game so i really don't know what to do um but no you guys should all check it out if you like zombie games you can definitely check it out um Speaking of zombie games, I should be doing it, uh, an episode later on in the future of the Armor 2 mod Day Z, which is an awesome uh, like zombie game that people have been playing, and it's the main reason that Armor 2 Combined Operations has been is n now the number one top selling game on Steam. So, good luck for them and congratulations for that. But uh, as you can see, I'm about to make my first you know adventure outside and go to see what happens. There we got some zombies walking around, and I'm gonna run in here. See what I can find. Now, the whole goal for me coming into this house was to find, you know, like, food items. Like, uh, you know, apples, bananas, bread, corn, anything to eat. Because my guy's starving, and he could die of food loss. I don't know if you can die from not eating, but I know that eating will, like, will help your health, regeneration, and how much damage you can take. Um, luckily, though, I open up this fridge, and I find a banana and some carrots. I mean, an apple and some carrots. Don't know how I got that mixed up. Now, I, I assume I have an issue here where I can't figure out how to eat. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna have to go on their website and check out the controls and how to eat because I'm having just a hard time trying to eat. But no, if anyone, if you're all interested in uh, Project Zomboid, I will put a link to their indie database page, as well as and some other stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. This was Indie Game Spotlight Episode Eight.